Hi friends, today I am giving a lecture on Huffman coding. Huffman coding is one of the compression technique. Huffman coding is one of the application of greedy method. Why we are using Huffman coding? Suppose there are two persons are there. One person is sender and another person is receiver. Suppose a sender wants to send a large message to the receiver within the less time. But the communication channel between the sender and the receiver is low bandwidth channel. Low bandwidth channel. So by using this low bandwidth channel, a sender sends a large message. It takes more time. But how to send the sender sends a message to the receiver by using a compression technique. So this compression technique is called as Huffman coding. So Huffman coding is one of the lossless compression technique. So in this technique, what is the message that is sent by the sender? That message is converted into some encoding form. That message is sent to the receiver. Then the receiver decodes this message and finally what is the content is there in that message is known by the receiver. So this is the main technique Hoffman coding technique. Hoffman coding technique is used for compressing the given message. So by compressing the given message the time taken to send the message is very less. So for that purpose, we are using Huffman coding. So what are in standard encoding schemes are there? That is uh, ASCII coding and the second one is unique coding. So these standard encoding schemes are fixed length schemes because so ASCII code uses so 8 bits and unique code uses 16 bits. But uh, Huffman coding uses a variable length encoding scheme. Variable length encoding scheme. In Huffman coding, it uses some optimization technique. In this optimization technique, so we are using the character frequency. Character frequency is nothing but how many times each character is appeared in the given text or data. So based on that, we are applying the Huffman coding on the given test to encode the given test into some compressed form. So here, frequently used characters has short, short length uh, code word, and uh, less frequently used code words has more length code word. So how it is uh, how it is represented in the that can be discussed in the example problem. So where Huffman coding is used? Huffman coding is used in fax missions, modems, uh, high resolution televisions. So in this tech, in this applications, Huffman coding is used. So in greedy method, how Huffman coding is used, how the given text is uh, put in represented in compressed form. So these are discussed in the uh, example problem. Next, we are going to the what are the steps of Huffman coding. So these are the main points in Huffman coding. So data compression is useful 
when we are communicating over a low bandwidth channel and we wish to minimize the time needed to transmit the data the method used for data compression is Huffman coding so Huffman coding is one of the data compression technique where we are using where a sender sends a message through the channel that channel has low bandwidth channel and the time required to send the message within the minimum time so at that time we are using Huffman coding next standard encoding schemes such as ASCII and the Unicode uh, Unicode systems uses fixed length encoding but uh, Huffman coding uses variable length encoding so standard encoding schemes such as ASCII uses 8 bits and Unicode uses 16 bits. Next, in Huffman coding, the optimization is based on character frequencies. So how many times each character is present in the, is appeared in the given text or data. So based on that, we can find out the optimal solution. Next, by using Huffman coding, so the data saving is 20% to 19% because it is a data compression technique. By using this technique, we can save the, uh, we can save the data 20 to 90%. Next, in Huffman coding, more frequently occurring letters have sh short code words and less frequently occurring letters have large code words. Next, Hoffman coding is used in fax missions and computer networks and high definition televisions and modems. So these are the main points of Hoffman coding. Next, we go for how to solve the given problem by using Hoffman coding. What are the steps we are following? The main steps of the Huffman coding problem are first, in a given text, how many times each character is appeared? So that is, find out the frequency of each and every character in the given file or text message. So second point is, create a one node binary tree so that binary tree contains the character and its frequency next third point is arrange the characters in terms of frequencies in increasing order so arrange the character frequencies in increasing order next fourth point is for, uh, for the character, fourth point is we are always select the two smallest, two smallest characters and then, and then merge them. The steps of the Hoffman code algorithm are the first step is find out the frequency of each character within the given message or within the file. After finding out the character frequency of each character, then we are creating a one node binary tree. So in that node, what is the character and its what is the frequency of the character that are put in one node. Next, arrange the character, arrange the character including its frequencies with increasing order. So that means arrange the character frequencies in increasing order. Next step is we have to select the two smallest frequencies 
and merge them and merge them by creating a new node as t so then t1 suppose t1 and t2 are two smallest frequencies then we are merging t1 and t2 by creating a new node t for that node t t1 as left children t2 as right children okay then perform t equal to t1 plus t2 next the value t is inserted into the list at its correct position next after that we are assigning the weights for a node any left subtree is there any left child is there the weight is zero any right child is there the weight is one according to this rule okay we are assigning zero to the left subtree or left child or uh, one can be assigned to the right subtree or right child okay then after that we have to find out the code word for each and every character so these are the following steps in huffman coding okay one second the first step is find the frequency of each character in the file to be compressed okay so what are the characters are there in the given message or given file to be compressed so for each and every character in the file find out the frequency find out the frequency of each and every character in the given file to be compressed next second one for each distinct character create a one node binary tree containing the character and its frequency so after finding out the frequency of each and every character in the file create a one node binary tree it contains what is the character and what is the frequency of that character next third point insert the one node binary trees in increasing order of frequencies suppose there are uh, five characters are there so a p n d c so we are arranging these characters in in terms of frequencies in increasing order so according to that we are arranging the character frequencies in increasing order next fourth point dq two smallest trees t1 and t2 create a tree t that contains t1 as left child and t2 as right child so from the given list after after arranging the character frequencies in increasing order first we have to select the two smallest frequencies two smallest frequencies so that is t1 and t2 create a tree t that contains t1 as left child and t2 as its right child so then merging t1 and t2 then we are getting a new node t that means t equal to t1 plus t2 so the new node value t is inserted into the file or list at its correct position next assign 0 and 1 weights to the edges of the resulting tree so 0 for left child 0 for left child and 1 for right child 0 for left child and 1 for right child so finally write the code word for each character from root to the leaf node root to the leaf node or what is the character is there so after after completing these steps 
for each and every character in the given file we have some code word we have some code word this is the final result next we go for